Has a doctor ever told you that you have HIV? That same silence suffocated me like a ton of broken bricks as I held my phone and stood. In the middle of a family visit, I received a call that said that my blood could potentially be poisoned. See, a nameless girl just got the news that soon her health would be removed, her body infused with a new social leprosy. She then stressfully wrote down more names where her pain, like branches, could potentially reach. She'd become a root on a plant that grows like lightning. And every partner that she fake fertilized with could be a new branch in her crop of sickness. And as she wrote down all those that she more than kissed, my name, Chris, happened to make her list. Now I was never one for Russian roulette. But my sin and utter disrespect for God's law had thrusted me into a game that I couldn't reject or eject. This seems to be a hidden level in a game that I thought was all thrill. But as I told the medical center's representative to hold on and excuse myself from my mother's sight, this game became my life. I clutched the phone tight and told him to continue, but I couldn't hear his words. I was more concerned with the future I forfeited for sex about a month ago that sex I swear I wanted, Joe, but now that distant consequence I knew but never thought exist is at my doorstep yelling, Chris, you wanted her? You're getting this. My pedal slipped while riding straight my narrow path, though I did break and it was just once. One night, one party, one drink too many, one friend telling me it's all right, and one million scriptures and messages from God that I ignore. One girl, one day. One kiss, one touch, one bed, and two souls leaving twisted out her door. One cell, one mix, one spread, one switch, one clutch, and this blood just isn't healthy anymore. And scores of years, thousands of souls, decades of purpose, dreams and goals and hopes could all be missed for doing this one thing that God abhors, and I'm a candidate for that. I've never prayed a prayer as hard as I prayed for his mercy at that moment. God, forgive me and give me what I know I don't deserve. A second chance. Well, third, fourth, fifth. I'm not meant to be sick. Well, then again, none of us are. And I know I wouldn't have been in this predicament if I had originally done what you meant to happen, but please. I was a criminal, caught red-handed, with blood under my fingernails, yet asking the judge to let me off scot-free. After he carved this perfect temple and laid purpose for my soul, I desecrated his perfection and ignored his goals. I loosened its foundation and hoarded an unclean load. I poured in gas, then lit a match, then asked not to explode. I let it rot, though it looks fresh inside, it's feeling old. And now I'm asking for God's help before it gets foreclosed. How cold? You know, he made me to speak life. But I've been living dead for so long, my body's now gonna reflect that death I lived in quiet. And his thoughts of old age, children, and long life vacated my mind. And as I tried to escape from the rubble of this collapsed mind, God's mercy and his grace touched my face for yet another countless undeserving time. The doctor's questions begin to grow more and more obscure. And that's when in my jail cell of crushed dreams, God opened the door. Soon after, the phone rattled with laughter as many familiar voices yelled out, we just can't take it anymore. Turns out my bad news was a prank. And as anger, embarrassment, and relief flashed across my face, I felt ashamed because that news could have been true in the first place. Has a doctor ever told you that you have HIV? I was almost positive that a doctor almost said it to me, but never again, because I'm rededicating myself to purity.
Not only because of potential disease, not because of babies or reputation or even HIV, but because it is a commandment that my almighty God decrees. He should have never had to shock me like that to get me back. So from now till marriage, the arms of Jesus is the only place this body lies. I'm done with the double life. I'm not a spy. I couldn't even deceive myself. My health and my help comes from the one who doesn't hold. He's been so good, I'd even praise him with a positive result. He's God, healer, judge, and friend. And through purity, I'll never get a call saying I have HIV. And believe it, ever again. Hey, this must be a dream. Man, I'm afraid to think. Hey, somebody says, watch out. I... For today's age that's freshly creative and innovative, so I declare over you when you flame lit. But on the inside, I was screaming. Can anyone see that I am hurting? By showering with bouquets of temptation, how come when one rose, everything changed? It was that Christ. That situation's bad, but I know you, and you are God. Grateful, didn't even know my name anymore. All chaos, depression, and suicide, all trying to bust down the door. Things. I just want to show the world the love that you saw me. And I paid with fire, soul, and mind.